guys good morning okay so i actually don't know where this video is going 100 percent um i have so many feelings this morning okay so hold on one of my best friends is in labor right now one of my other best friends her baby just turned one today and i have a lot to do but i also don't know what to do with myself so um i want to film a sunday reset oh my gosh i'm just like checking my phone every three seconds because i'm just like is it happening is it happening is it happening okay so i want to film a sunday reset i haven't filmed one of those in forever house apartment shambles i also want to film a maintenance vlog because you see my eyebrows eyebrows looking crazy hair been in this bun nail we're not gonna hit the zoom on the nails but i need to do something with my skin do something with my nails and do something with my hair and do something with my eyebrows so uh, i don't even know what this clip is going into if you're watching this right now and this is probably the sunday reset then make sure that you watch the maintenance vlog it's probably the worst intro for a sunday reset ever anyway hey girl happy sunday y'all it's been a very long time since we did a sunday reset we're doing lots of cleaning today also by the way caraway is always having sales they do have a father's day sale um i love these pots and pans not sponsored they sent me these a while ago and i'm absolutely in love with them so i will throw that in the description bar but hey y'all so how are we doing how are we feeling i feel like i haven't talked to y'all in a long time your girl has been struggling with just finding a balance you know and struggling with letting myself be okay with not always being in balance do you ever feel like you get like on top of your routine and then you're like oh yes i'm killing it like i got this and then when you fall off from it it's like the dive off of a cliff like coming off of that high of feeling like you have it all together it just takes like such a blow to your your mood like am i making sense right now if i'm making sense meet me in the comments and let me know that i'm not crazy because yeah i just feel like i was doing so good and now i'm not doing as good with just like being consistent and i just been so hard on myself and you know what i realized that does absolutely nothing for me like giving myself a hard time for not always being perfect what does that make me accomplish it actually sets me back even further so the word of the day is balance just brick by brick one foot in front of the other showing up the best you can each day and your best each day is gonna look a little bit different i know it'd be sounding like i'm i'm talking to y'all and preaching to y'all and i am but really these messages are for me, Miss Lauren Camille herself, because this is what I need to hear sometimes. And they said that like the best way for you to learn something yourself is to teach it to somebody else. And so I feel like that's uh, one of the reasons why God blessed me with this platform. So that yes, he can speak to me and through me and I can share that with y'all, but what you don't realize is how much it actually does for me. I really didn't have a plan for the audio for this, so. I guess we're just going with it but as you can clearly see i am getting to it with the cleaning my apartment has been neglected because i've just been you know out of town if you watch the dallas vlog for my mom's birthday you saw i was gone i was on the run i did not want to come back home because i love my mom love and miss dallas so much if you didn't watch that check it out it's my favorite vlog to date um such a good time but yeah so i'm just playing catch up a little bit and another life lesson that i'm realizing is that thing that you don't want to do the most is likely the thing that you need to do the most like you don't want to get up and go to the gym you probably need that for your mood so bad you don't want to go because you're in a mood but that's the thing that you need for your mood and like you don't want to clean because you don't feel like it but that's the thing that you need for your mood so i'm learning this lesson the hard way so i'm challenging y'all this week if you're watching this it's on a sunday so starting tomorrow it doesn't have to be starting on monday whenever you hear this message you're receiving it 
right when you're supposed to receive it. The thing that you've been putting off the most that you really don't want to do because you don't feel like it, push yourself to just start and just you know continue to put one foot in front of the other and let's see how big of a difference it makes here you go you try to tease with them pictures you could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical she said i'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga girl i like your last nigga all i need is mental you know i'll work you out get you right with your physical always just another interlude asking all the questions girl you know i don't do interviews it's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you work at Coles, you in dental school. Wife and now you from clothes, cooking dinner too. Young till girl, I'm known as Penguin. Y'all see, I had to put my mans to work. No, I'm kidding. But he does do a good job at offering to see if I want to help when I'm in my like cleaning moods. Usually though, I'm just like, a, I can do it better. <laughs> Is that so wrong? Like, I just want it done a certain way. And he just doesn't have that eye for detail like I do. He has other strong suits. Cleaning is my strong suit. I like to think I'm actually really good at cleaning. Um, and when I get in the mood to do it, I find it to be very therapeutic, actually. It's just when I let things get too far gone that it just seems like it's overwhelming. So, by the way, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I was saying that one of my best friends was in labor. She actually did have her baby like hours after that. So if you notice how my hair looks insane and it was like at least kind of brushed and combed at the beginning, it's because I ended up going to the hospital and I actually started filming this like three days later. It might've been even more than three days later, but basically when you see me wearing this outfit, you know for a fact I'm about to clean. This is like my cleaning outfit. Like, hey maid, you and your maid outfit again? That's this outfit for me. But I did have a beautiful, healthy baby boy. Um, you've seen my friend in one of my previous vlogs, the same vlog I'm talking about, the Dallas vlog. It actually started off at her baby shower, so she did great. She's healthy, he's healthy. Oh my gosh, going to the hospital was just such an emotional experience because my friend is a mother now. Obviously, I've never seen her in this light. It's just so beautiful. And being around a newborn baby, it just does something to you. But he's gorgeous and beautiful. And yeah, welcome to the world, baby. Watching these clips, I feel like this is how my brain works. Like I'm always having a thousand tabs open and I'm always trying to find a way to multitask. I don't know how beneficial that is, but it is the reality. Like start the sheets, while that's going, go clean something else up. And then in the middle of that, start dinner. And then while that's going, clean something else up. You know, I just wanna accomplish so much at once. Are you like that? What's your method of cleaning? I try to stop myself from doing this, but this is like naturally what I gravitate back towards. But I made some dinner. It was pretty good, except for I did make my gravy a little bit too thin on accident. It still was fire though. Taste was everything. And speaking of trying to get the most out of situations, can we touch on the Home Depot girl who went viral? for tweeting about, you know, basically being a pretty girl who has a regular job and people always trying to push their own agenda on her. 
um, saying that she would be more successful if she took advantage of other opportunities. I'm just going to say it like that to put it very loosely. And you know, what I get out of all of this is people do not know how to mind their business for one. And also, if you kept up with her story at all, it's kind of everywhere. So it would be kind of hard to not but you saw that she was getting doxxed and having to change her method of work now. And people were also saying that she scammed us because now she's promoting her YouTube channel. And I just think like, why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? You know, I think obviously she's a young woman who's in school working to support whatever it is that she needs her funds for. I obviously don't know her personally either, but can you be so mad at her using this opportunity where she has gone viral and she does have an influx of, you know, followers and eyes watching her? What's so wrong with her taking advantage of this opportunity and saying like, hey, I've been wanting to start my YouTube channel. All eyes are on me. Go subscribe. Is that so terrible? Like, is it so terrible? You know, like people basically would feel happier if she didn't use this opportunity. Like, how does that benefit you, you know? And that's just like a reminder that no matter what you do, no matter how well you do, no matter how poorly you do, people are always, always, always going to want to insert their opinion on your life. But at the end of the day, they don't lose any sleep over what happens to you, whether you end up being successful or you're that girl that we forget about and five years later we're like oh yeah you were that girl who went viral i just think you should let people do what's best for them and mind the business that pays you and i think if she can use this as an opportunity to get a head start in her social media career girl kudos to you but i also think in that same breath you should let women choose whatever line of work they want because again like mind your business you feel me are we on the same page balance and mind your business those are the themes of today but this is the next day i cooked dinner didn't even eat it because while i was cooking my boyfriend came home with canes because we were creating that so i ate that while i was cooking and i put the food away and the next day i finally washed my hair and i'm getting everything clean i'm starting to feel so good the sun is out Ooh, when the sun is out like me and the sun have a special connection so everything's clean i'm spraying the bed down with some i don't know what you call this stuff but oh my god look at my baby we put some shoes on him because it's so hot outside and the um concrete is like burning his paws so we got him some little shoes and he's just so freaking adorable but I was laughing at myself watching me film this i'm sorry edit this because this dress i had this tag hanging on the back of it for so long but i accidentally purchased two of the exact same dresses when i bought them from shein and this was obviously the one that i had not worn yet so it had a tag on there but i don't know before stuff like that would make me feel like oh my god i need to refilm and oh my god like I messed up or something and I'm really proud of myself because I'm slowly starting to see the growth in me like I'm slowly starting to be less concerned with what other people think and everything being perfect and yeah I'm proud of myself good job Lauren
can feel the places in your heart no one else can When you saw you love, I'll know I'll be too I'll be right here, baby, you know I'm so close with you Actually recording this voiceover right now is feeling so therapeutic for me um, in ways that I didn't think it would like yeah it's just making me feel better talking to y'all and if you're if you're not new here you all know I like to talk so anyway I'm basically wrapping up the cleaning I cleaned up everything on my back was hurting so bad from all the sweeping and stuff but Rocco has so much hair he shed so much so um we got him from a shelter and we believe that he is a pit lab mix that is not 100 percent confirmed but he looks to be a pit lab mix and he sheds like a lab i mean his hair is everywhere so my man's is helping me out he's like why are you recording me girl but because you're so cute helping me i'm spraying the couch down with this little concoction that I got from um, Tuesday morning. It's this like Mediterranean sage scent. Ooh, it's so good. It's strong, but I broke the spray bottle. So I put it in another little bottle. And so that's all it is. And I'm just spraying it. Um, and we actually are having a cookout on this day. So I need to eat because I've been like in that mode where I'm cleaning so much that hours have passed, I haven't eaten. And it's like, girl, you're not gonna be good for nothing. And so I'm just making myself a little plate. And then um, my boyfriend made this rum punch. I think he got the recipe off of TikTok or something, but of course I had to make sure that it was good and safe before everyone arrived. So I feel like it was only right that I did my due diligence by tasting it. So I'm gonna sit down finally have a little bit of um, the chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy and a little bit of the rum punch. And y'all, I don't know what's wrong with me. I really need to stay away from gravy because I'm obsessed. Like, call me crazy, call me gross, call me sick. I could literally just drink gravy. Like, God, please deliver me from all of my big back tendencies because the way I'm enjoying food is not giving I'm going to be living up to my summer body goals. So I need to get it together really quickly, like really, really quickly. But um, cleaning did everything that it was supposed to do for me. It lifted my mood completely and I cannot let people come over with everything not being like scrubbed down. So, you know, I had to do my big one. Let me know if y'all are like this. Is this a Capricorn thing? Like. Is it the earth sign placements that are just always having the need for everything to be perfect and in place and you know because i feel like a lot of my other friends are just so much more relaxed and chill about things than i am but anyway y'all know i love eating with y'all too and this was everything you see the reaction it was everything and i'm finally like catching up on my phone because my friends have been waiting for me to text them back and then i'm just gonna enjoy a little bit of the drink and as always i love y'all so much y'all support does not go unnoticed it is very much appreciated um let me know what it is that you would like to see from me next and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love y'all bye and watch me over until my